Okay, October, October 24th, and this is my uh, first colony, the lowest box in the colony. Um, and um, there's some pretty good news here. First of all, I see a number of bees crawling around. That means the hive is probably healthy. I didn't see the queen directly, but I rarely do. And I just don't want to risk um, uh, accidentally killing her or even just sort of losing her from the hive, that would be disastrous. She could easily be in the second box or maybe even the third one right now. She can move around freely. Um, and usually she's going to be where most of the eggs are because she's laying all the time. Um, one thing that's good to see is there aren't um, piles of dead bees at the bottom here, down, down here in this, uh, this is the bottom of the hive right down here right there. And often uh, there, there are a bunch of dead bees piled up. The fact that there aren't means that the colony is healthy and they are basically cleaning the hive out of debris, including dead bees. Um, and, and that's good news. Um, and the front door looks clear and they're coming in and out. You can even see um, some of them bringing in pollen, which is really kind of amazing. The ones with the little um, orange on their back legs, you can sort of see some have orange dots, and those are bits of pollen that are stuffed into sacks on their back legs. That means they're still finding pollen right now, and uh, I guess that's one of the side benefits of climate change. You have longer periods of warm weather and longer periods of uh, pollen availability. And that's great because that is their protein source. So uh, that's good. That's all good news. I would say this is probably a pretty healthy colony right now in late October. One thing that's very typical is that in the lowest uh, box, you don't have a lot of uh, brood. You don't have a lot of eggs. What you can see here with this bright orange, once again, is pollen. They are stuffing pollen in there. That's called pollen patties. Uh, hard to turn this with one hand, but... There aren't a lot of eggs, and that is because here's a, just a very little deposit of eggs right there. But that's because the bees tend to move up higher up into the boxes uh, as um, the season goes on. And um, the problem is they basically, um, what ha what'll happen if you aren't careful is they'll run out of real estate. They go up and up and up, and then pretty soon they're up against their um, their honey stores, which is the top box. You want to provide space for the queen to continue laying eggs throughout the winter because uh, ideally, um, well, she really needs to continue laying eggs so that the colony keeps living. Once again, the average worker bee only lives about uh, a month and a half. So they're, they're constantly dying of old age, and she's constantly producing new ones. That's how the colony continues to live. So what I'm going to do for, uh, to remedy this, and it's a typical solution, is I'm going to take this lowest box and move it up and switch it with a second box, which has more eggs. That will have more of the eggs hatching low down. And then when they move up, they're going to move into some empty real estate where the queen has space to uh, lay more eggs. And the hope there is that that'll buy us an extra month or so. Um, in the dead of the winter, we never go in because it's too cold and too dangerous for them. So this is getting to be the end of the time when I can intervene and do anything. I'm also going to probably go ahead and put the, um, the uh, Varroa mite medication in since I've got the whole hive open. So first I'm going to switch the, the second and first box, and then I'm going to put the, um, uh, the medication on top of the first box.